folks, 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 folks. This is Adventures of the Black Nerds. Much love to you guys. I am Baron J67. I am T Jones. Shout out to you. Thank you for stopping by. Yeah, man. We really appreciate you guys. Like, seriously, we um I, I get shocked every time I look and see whether it's one person or a uh, hundred people or a mm-hmm. thousand. I'm absolutely shocked and I'm th- not shocked, I'm thankful for everybody who stops by because i mean for one we're gonna talk anyway like i'm just glad that people enjoy our random conversations on camera it's funny how many people can relate to it too yeah man it makes me not feel crazy Mm -hmm. like because i know i know i'm crazy and i had some at least i thought i was crazy because are you crazy if you're not what's the whole thing you're not crazy if you're uh you're not alone wild dog really you need to stop Oh, uh, and then um, it, it just I'm I'm glad I'm glad I'm thankful and somebody's gonna like, relate to us. I, I'm just glad yeah. that you you they're here that they that they do they they check out the, the show and that they do comment and hit us up and let us know things. So continue yeah. to do that. We appreciate it. Yeah, connect with us. Let us know what y'all think. Let us know if there's topics that we didn't hit on that we should hit on, mm-hmm. or if you guys just got questions. I'm all for it. Like, I'm not against it. I, I enjoy talking with you guys. I enjoy connecting with people. Yep. Um, but, so, we got to talk about something. And I never heard the word, but clearly I've been living under a rock. I, I know the feeling, but I've never heard the term that's like, the actual, describes it. Exactly. So, today we're going to talk about FOMO, or fear of missing out. Mm-hmm. Um, now, for me... FOMO fits in with everybody different. Like, you got people who feel FOMO for social gatherings, family events. You got people who feel FOMO for um, technology. Like, I, I don't have a 4K TV. Yep. You know, like, you you know, people have FOMO for a lot of different things. But today, we're, we're going to try and center it around our gaming and, well, our nerd experience around just the black adventure. Yes. What we've been dealing with. Because I know for me, a big FOMO that I didn't even realize until just this second is keeping up with anime and manga. Like, that is, that's a huge thing for me. Um, Because I, uh, there's so much out there. So I'm trying to podcast, I'm trying to uh, live stream, I'm trying to game, trying to create Create content. content. I'm doing what people have teams for. Mm -hmm. Like, real talk. Like, I know a lot of people who stream at this level and I'm not saying I'm big time, but I'm saying I'm small, that they don't do the other parts because they don't have the time. Exactly. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm sitting here, I'm making my own thumbnails. I'm making my own, I'm cutting and editing and rendering and uploading my own videos. I'm doing my own social media. I'm live streaming. And all and the things that I'm doing. interacting with people. Don't forget that. And I'm, yeah, and I'm interacting with people and I'm still being dad and husband. Mm-hmm. So, it's so crazy that uh, I'm sorry you guys hear me snapping. My dog's acting an ass. Um, Chick. What's so right? What's so crazy is um, things have to. Something has to give. I don't watch as much TV, which means I don't watch as much anime, which definitely means I'm not reading as much manga. Like a lot of the stuff I do, a lot of stuff we do, one thing can only be done at a time. Yep. Now I, I guess I could take time and. Edit. I've done it before on live stream, at least on Twitch, where I've live streamed myself recording and editing a video. Yeah, I've done that, mm-hmm. you know, just to create that content, because the way it used to be was that would be two or three hours gone of me not doing anything other than putting time into the video. So for me, I was trying to leverage and, you know, kill two birds with one stone. Yeah. Still connect with my fans, still talk and chat it up with people while uploading and getting content put out oh, and then don't get me started on the social media i didn't even really jump into that you got tiktok you got uh it's Vine. so much out there so, yeah and then and you gotta to be honest if you really want to win nowadays unless you're like just super beast gamer or you're like the prettiest dude on the internet um you you gotta really grind like mm-hmm. it's not a joke and you gotta stay relevant and let me rephrase. I don't like using that word relevant because that's not what I'm trying to be. 
it's it's a matter of um you got to let people know you're still alive yeah so relevant is a good it's the word but i feel like we we use that word in a bad way now Mm -hmm. like relevant is just a way of like doing all the trends like no i'm not a trend guy I, I play what I want to play. I do what I want to do. And every and but, everybody has their way of staying relevant. Like, you yeah. know, it, it, there may be a new challenge that come out that's something you you may enjoy. but And then you may want to do it as well. And I say challenge because yeah. that's the thing. That, that is the that's, thing yeah. that happens. Uh, and then, you know, when people come back, or not even people coming back, but like when you want to do something, if it's not for you, you're not going to do it. Cause I know I'm that, not gonna yeah, do it. Hundred percent. You know 100%. I can enjoy other people doing it. I can watch people do it. I mean, look at video. I mean, obviously we're here to talk about the the video game aspect of it. Yeah, but FOMO. Yeah. Even video games, like I feel like sometimes I I will buy a game and sit on it and never touch it. I know I got it, so I that to experience that that you know that FOMO with that aspect of it, I won't. Because I got it. It's sitting there. It's sitting there. I'm cool. Yeah. You know I don't miss it. Yeah. But when I don't get the opportunity, obviously, we're just talking about the, the and for everybody listening that has PlayStation Plus, go get your free games. That is a FOMO. All the months yeah. I missed, I remember saying, dang, I didn't get that. Oh, man. Why I forget? How I forget a whole month. <laughs> free a games. Free game. Yeah. Like literal free AAA titles. Exactly. So go get your, you know, and like I said, if you got PlayStation Plus, go download your free games. But that was that's an aspect of it as well. So I tried Which let's be real. Let, let me sidebar. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. If PlayStation was really about it, they would just drop it in your account. That's what I said. Like if let's be real, you're offering me the game. You, it's free to everybody who has PlayStation Plus, which means you're giving everybody the opportunity. I'm not telling you to download it onto my console. Just put it in my put it into my man. put it in my account. Mm-hmm. Like don't even just let my account build up. Yeah. Like why would why wouldn't you give me that opportunity? I always, but that's a, that's a whole nother yeah. Yeah. See, and that that's comparing it to uh um I forget the name of it. The thing, the service that we have that we get humble free, bundle, humble bundle, just like and humble the link bundle. is below, folks. If you guys want to support us, you can go. Um, you can use our uh, humble bundle affiliate link. Mm-hmm. You guys, any purchases you guys make on that link goes to support us, and you get to pick a charity for which you want your other uh, part of the donation to go to. So I always looked at it as they're trying to create this like exclusivity type deal where. We're giving out these games. If you don't download them, you don't have them. But the millions yeah. of other people that that had a chance to download it actually gotten downloaded. Yeah, it, so, it's it's this it's real it's really awkward. Mm-hmm. One thing I will say is I've always gotten the titles I really wanted. Like I got the Neo, I got Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Um, uh, which I'm gonna be honest, even though it wasn't the best Metal Gear Solid game, I actually enjoyed the game. Yeah. Uh, that you know, we're not diving into that, but but with FOMO, that's that's actually a really good. I mean, I didn't even think about the PlayStation Plus example like mm-hmm. that, but that's freaking perfect. But you know, me, anime and manga, like I was working. Okay, put it this way, I'm working out because you know, of course, we're on lockdown. Make sure everybody stays in the house, and if you live in uh, certain counties, you got to wear masks uh, when you leave your house. Uh, but uh, I've been working out and watching one piece Mm -hmm. that is but that's the way to do it yeah like (laughs) that's the way to do it i have to multitask i have to multitask you have to i'm talking about driving listening to ebooks driving listening to music you see what i'm saying like you have to multitask now if you're a person that can't really multitask like that i recommend you don't do that you know but i'm talking about working practice huh I used to not be able to multitask. Yeah. Like, you know, I, I could, I actually, you know what, when it comes to multitasking, I don't like recommend, recommending it mm-hmm. unless it's two things that you can function together. Like I can, everybody can't surprisingly, but I can listen to an audio book and work out. I can watch a TV show and work out. Yeah. Um, I know everybody can't, you know, it's not I, I can't everybody. It's not for everybody. Like I listened to the Joyner Lucas album, while playing Bannerlord, because mm-hmm. I wanted to hear the album, which is fucking dope. Yeah, 
Um, I did not think it was going to be dope like that. Like to the point for me, when I'm the way I measure my music, folks, once again, sidebar, we're going to stick on FOMO because this is a real big topic. Mm -hmm. Um, the way I judge my music is if you give me 10 to 12 tracks and I love three of them, like another two, it's a hit album Yeah, because the rest I'm going to learn to listen to. But if you got, if you give me 12 tracks and there's three that I'll repeat, Oh, it's a classic. Oh, yeah, the Carter because 4. You'll... Yeah, thank you. <laughs> the Carter 4. Thank you. And then the Carter 2. Oh, and the Carter, Carter 2. Actually, and the... best body of work, be- best album, let's say that, Lil Wayne album, Carter 2. Uh, Carter 2. That, yeah. but those that, those go into that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, because like, it had like, even though it was like 12 or 13 tracks, I think it was 14 actually on the Carter 2. It was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. I, it, it was it, a lot. It probably was even more than that. But I'm going to be real with you. There was like five songs that are probably still on my playlist that are being played right now. Mm-hmm. And that's what makes it a dope album to me. But back to FOMO. So the whole reason I bring all that up is because I had to multitask. Oh, sorry to cut to you compl- off, but the Carter 2 had 22 tracks. Jesus Christ. So, yeah. So that could have easily been. If it came out today, it would have been two albums. Mm-hmm. Um double disc special <laughs> but um but no man like real shit i um in order to avoid complete diving into that negative feeling of fomo i had to completely multitask and some things had to give yeah i don't watch as much tv um i don't watch as many movies i used to, man you up until the early 2000s i'm your movie guy yeah like i can quote i can fucking reenact scenes i can go line for line with you but once i got out of college that was kind of like my movie bro my movies like viewership just tanked yeah. i don't know what changed i don't know if it's because netflix really took over i don't know but my movie viewership i can you know how many ro- okay get look admit, admit guilty pleasure i love romantic comedies i think they're the best genre of movies romantic comedies are my shit um I I've missed out on. Did you just say guilty pleasure? Yeah, guilty pleasure. I fucking love romantic comedies and Taylor Swift. Um, like, hey, it just it is what it is. Yeah, yeah. But um, they got some good ones. I mean, yeah. Oh, bro, I love rom coms. Uh-huh. Most of my music, my music selection is like rom com music. That's mm-hmm. what I call, it. especially like early two thousands rom com music. <laughs> I love that shit. Like, in front, like somebody out there knows exactly what I'm fucking talking somebody about. Somebody agrees with you wholeheartedly. Yeah, wholeheartedly. <laughs> like, them tracks slap. You just <laughs> gave somebody the power to say, I agree. <laughs> yeah, like, but, but no, but I, there's the fact that I consider myself a movie person and there's a lot of movies I haven't seen. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen the new... Um, uh, I can't even list them because there's so many. Like I, I can say I didn't see any of the movies that won awards this year. Did okay. So did you see uh what was it uh Hobbs and Sean? I seen Hobbs and Shaw because my brother uh got I went to the premiere and shook the oh, rock's hand. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I, uh, I went to the I premiere and shook the rock's hand because my brother was on the NFL team oh, and they see, got special access. So there's, that's there's, what I went to that. That yeah. was dope. So there's a lot of movies I haven't seen, but I, actually it, it, it made me think about something. Do you think you don't uh, watch these type of things or watch these things or pay attention to these specific um, super trendy, whether it's music, music movies or whatever, uh, because not only you work, but you're a father and a husband? A hundred percent. That plays a big because something's got to give. Yeah. See, um, I was gonna say the same thing. Like, it, I think that's for me. Like, f- watching trendy things on Facebook is different than actually being in it. I'm talking about yeah. s- witnessing it and seeing when people start posting memes of it. Probably like after like the thirtieth meme that I see of something, it's like, all right, what are they talking about? Then I'll go. Like, for example, the like think of Boosie. Think of Boosie. His oh, live yeah. streams. His live streams have become like super lit now. Why? Yeah. Because not only your people are home, but they're entertaining as hell. So they are entertaining as shit. But beforehand, he used to go the live centipede. on the centipede. The centipede. Oh, she do- <laughs> see that was my, that, and I actually yeah. went back and had to watch that. So 
that technically is a little thing of FOMO. Why? Because it's like, well, what's going on, man? Like, now everybody's talking about this thing. And I can understand yep. why people get anxiety from it. Because yeah. of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people don't understand or they don't know. And you could turn around and catch in, and experience some type of anxiety because a lot of people are experiencing this thing that you don't understand or you haven't gotten yet. So, I... And, oh, no, go ahead. No, and folks, and that's the that's one of the major negatives about FOMO. Um, fear of missing out, for those who don't know what FOMO means. Um... It's the anxiety that comes with missing out. Yeah. So let me. It, it's. Go ahead. All right. So, uh, just to, to to stick to FOMO a little bit more, and then on the on the video game aspect of it. Yeah, that's what I was getting into. When we when we first started, when we first brought the topic up, I I used Destiny as an example. Now. Hundred percent. Destiny is. You guys heard me hound Destiny and talk about Destiny for hundreds of hours on this podcast. And I played the game for hundreds of hours. Like, I, yeah. you know, it. I felt like I was a part of the one percenters in the game. And um, right now I'm not because, you know, you'll, you'll understand later on in the conversation. But in that game, FOMO is crazy because you'll something. There will be an item that is overpowered this season that you must have. I must have this. It must be this specific role. I am going to grind for it. And once you get it, next season, another item comes. And you may not have the time to play. So last minute, for example, in Destiny, they have those titles, those seals. Excuse me. In With those seals, you only have like a three-month span to get them seals. If you don't yep. get it, you don't, you don't have it anymore. So I remember feeling super bummed out, like thinking I wasn't going to be able to get the, the last season seal. And I'm like, man, I'm not going to get it. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, I really felt like that. So the last day, the, the last day before the new DLC came out, I was grinding. I was grinding. I almost didn't go to work the next day. Why? Because I was sitting up playing, trying to unlock this seal, finally unlock the seal the last minute. I don't know why I waited to the last minute, but it I had to get it. I didn't want to miss out on it. So FOMO for me, Destiny, um, I, I and then I understand Apex Legends, like Fortnite, all of these things that your nephews... It, your it nephew, gets rid of the FOMO. Exactly. So I'm like, man... Well, like, well let's rephrase. It does FOMO in a way that's purchasable. Yeah. So when you have, if you really want, you can go and buy everything you want. Yeah, but on I, you know Fortnite. what? But then my my pockets take over, and I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm good. you know it it they add that element to where it's like you missed it. You don't. You want to have the new John Wick skin, even though that's not a new one. Mm -hmm. But you want the John Wick skin. You got you missed it, but you can pay for it. Mm -hmm. Like. You know, and I, you know what, and that's a, a lot of business practicing are taking that model, mm -hmm. and, and I, it, it, you're almost limiting yourself if you don't do that, if you don't practice that like seasonal, um, capsule model, you're almost setting yourself up for failure, because it, it's, it's that crazy. Ex exclusivity, man. That's it's crazy. Yeah. It, and then it adds it's it's the gambling gambling psychology mm -hmm. like you walk into a casino there's no clocks no sunlight um all of this is on purpose to keep you in the loop noises happy noises mm -hmm. sounds Chimes, like money falling exactly. yeah like all of that it's all for a reason just like with battle pass and then they like okay we're playing a lot of warzone but i want to stick to fomo with with the fomo with destiny sticking with video games the thing with destiny and fomo for me the way i avoid it is i don't care i force myself not to care that's because if you notice i go out of my way to use weapons that nobody will use mm -hmm. and, still people win <laughs> and still win in crucible <laughs> put in work why are you using that blue one because i can yep because i can <laughs> and it's got good skills Did it's you? got 90 fire rate and so, like, 900 fire rate. Yeah. And, like, no, like, real talk. And I go out of my way to find alternatives to still enjoy the game. Mm -hmm. Because, one, 
I'm so far behind in that game. I've never completed anything. Um, you gotta change. So, no, but my problem with that is I'm so far behind that even when I work hard and dive in to catch up, I'm still light years behind people. See, this is all right. So specifically with Destiny, my FOMO is kind of suppressed because. Uh oh, hold on. Let me plug my laptop in. Okay. That wasn't but yeah, so. Um, you good? Yeah, I'm good. So. Okay. My FOMO is with Destiny is kind of suppressed. Now this goes back to me explaining that I feel like I'm a part of the one percent. There's nothing in that game I cannot do because of skill, Fact. because of knowledge. It's just either because either or Time. let me. It's kind of knowledge because I don't. I haven't. Maybe I haven't done the raid before. Maybe I haven't played this map before. You know that type of thing. Or um, and then also I feel like. I'm, like I said, part of that 1%, so I could do whatever. All I need is the right team. If I found the right six people, I can do any and everything in that game. Flawless raids, flawless menagerie. Anything in the game that's possible, I can do it. But I, I'm just not, you, I'm, I'm almost so good that I don't need to do it. And that's kind of right. like my, my mindset. And that, so with Destiny, my FOMO is kind of su like suppressed because in Destiny 1, I did everything. Flawless raids, everything you possibly can think of. I had every gun, every exotic, every everything, everything solo raids by myself. So I'm not really pressed on it. You come to Destiny 2, it's like, all right, well, there's not a lot of people playing. It's not the same feel. Uh, yeah, I could do it later. I could do it later. I could do it later. And I, we haven't played Destiny. I haven't played I know Destiny. I haven't played in like three months. This so I could play that for right. Season 10 is out. I haven't played yeah. season two. I've played one day or not like three hours worth of Destiny since season 10 drop. And is this year three right now? No, nah, this is like year four. Oh. So I haven't played it. I just haven't been pressed to play the game because it's like, oh, I could do it later. I could do it. Then what? I'm going to find myself the last day trying to complete all of this stuff. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And because I don't want to miss out on the seal, I'm saying that yeah. to you. And tomorrow, I'm not gonna play Destiny. Yep. I, How arrogant! Because well, <laughs> of Warzone. <laughs> but leads us into our next topic. <laughs> yeah, Warzone. So, but long story short, folks, my so I don't like just talking about a problem. I like to offer some form of solutions. Um, when it comes to this FOMO stuff. You really got to sit down and really internal, take time, look inside, and think about what you can and can go without, mm -hmm. can and can't go without. Me, it it came down. There was a point where I stopped doing content. Like there was a long stretch where I didn't do any streaming. I didn't put up any YouTube videos. There was a stretch where I went through that because I felt like I was missing out with my family. Mm -hmm. Um, I was stuck behind the door kids were out there living life and then all of a sudden i'm like wait i got a better relationship with my younger daughter than my older one and mm -hmm. there's only a year difference what was the difference yeah. oh because during that one year with my oldest i was in my office yeah i was working i was trying to get this and trying to get that and reach this goal and create this many videos a week so i had to be honest with yourself. my family yeah yeah my FOMO was my family. And so now, now I got a better balance. Mm -hmm. But with that balance, something had to get off the scale. So for me, my, my amount of anime I watch, I do my best to watch it at work. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, you man. know, <laughs> um, you know, wink, wink. Not really. I'm a great employee. Um, I, uh, I don't watch as much TV. Like I, I pick specific shows and I stick to those. And I watch them usually when I can. Mm -hmm. um, I don't watch as many movies. Right. I um, you what else? Yeah, and when I'm gaming, I'm I, my level of multitasking has gone up. When I'm gaming, I'm ninety percent of the time live streaming. Yep. Um, or if I'm gaming and I'm not live streaming, that means I'm like editing a video while I'm gaming. Like we got a or win in Warzone gaming. yesterday, <laughs> huh? Or I'm said, double gaming. Oh, like literally done. before the stream started. I'm checking out stuff on my on my Switch on my Animal Crossing island, and then I'm loading in and checking my store on Bless Unleashed. <laughs> like it's it's like it's this crazy. is what it's become. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it, it has to be that way. Um, 
something's got to give. That's the only. That's my recommendation for FOMO is truly figuring out what you can and can't do and taking a deep breath and accepting it. Yeah, and like I can because you can't do everything. I can for me. Um, it's I just I only put the focus into what I actually care about, and I'm starting to let go, let God. Yeah, you know, I'm Real starting. To, I'm really starting to do that. Like beforehand, and we're about to get into our next topic. I would you wouldn't catch me on another game until I completed my daily stuff on Destiny. Facts. And I'm That's literally good. starting to just say let go, let God, and doing whatever I'm doing. And uh, so my and then I'm I'm multitasking a lot more. Like I'm listening to books and driving to work. I can do that. It's not for everybody. You're talking about yeah. working out. I'm working out and listening to the new album, the new uh, uh, Royce the Five Nine. I'm 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 mm. listening to these things. I'm 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 catching up on music that I haven't uh, listened to, and uh, and then and but my biggest my the thing where I kind of just said forget it. I'll catch it when I catch it. Is social media like FOMO mm-hmm. with social media is kind of. A tricky one because people will go out of their way to make sure they don't miss what's trending. They want to be the first person to explain, hey, did you see such and such was going down, such and such? Because they went to Twitter's trending page and said, hey, this is trending number one. This is what we need to talk about. Or this is what I need to ask my friends about. For me, I stay off of trending pages. I catch it when I catch it, man. You just, just yeah. It's gonna be on Facebook. Somebody gonna put a sure. meme out there. For example, the most recent one is um the the Tiger King. Oh yeah, I still haven't seen the movie. Listen, I'm a, this is all I'm gonna say about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I seen a clip of the show first, and the clip was so funny. It, it was it's messed up, but it's so funny. The dude, <laughs> the dude was getting dragged by a liger. Oh, I did see that. Dude. And uh, I seen that clip. He started cussing, shooting his gun, and everything. And I was like, "What is that?" And then I started. Well, and to be honest, this was before like the memes got crazy. Yeah, yeah. I just seen the picture of the dude, and um, I'm like, I'm about to watch it. I spent one day, one day, watched every episode, <laughs> and I was like, okay, cool. Now every I get everything. But that was the got one it. thing that I seen on social media and was like, oh, I got to make it apparent to watch this. So now when people start asking me, hey, who's Carol Baskin? Oh, you ain't seen Tiger? You got to go watch Tiger King, man. You, you gotta got to go it. watch it. And, you know, that, that then we get to having that dialogue about it. But, um, yeah, for me, I just started let go and let God for a lot of stuff. And I'll get to it when I get to it. That way, yeah. I'm not having any type of anxiety or any type of like, yeah, damn, I feel like man. I'm left out of these specific things because that's bad. Like, that's a bad feeling to have. I'm not going to say I'm not, I'm Superman to it, but anybody can get that. So, Thanks. that's it on the FOMO, man. I, I'm just, and actually, leading into our next topic Warzone. 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 So, so we've been playing a lot, a lot of Call of Duty Warzone, and the for me, um, and I've I've described it multiple times. It's a it's PUBG with Call of Duty mechanics, mm-hmm. sixty frames per second, pure shooting, pure Woo! shooting, boots on the ground, unless you're. Uh, in a nerd. helicopter, get out of the building, uh, you nerd. <laughs> it, hey, bro, and kidding. you know, you know what I like about the game? They added in some things that are subtle, but necessary. Yeah, they added in uh, foot the loud ass footsteps mm-hmm. when people are running, um, when people are opening doors. Yeah, when the people audio are parachuting, cues are, are the cool. audio cues are godsends. Yeah, it would make the game almost unbearable. If those audio cues weren't there, yeah. Um, because I'm literally while I'm streaming, I'm listening to you guys. I got music playing in the background, and I can still call out like, "Hey, somebody's walking. Um, somebody's on the other side of this." Listen, wall. I'm gonna tell you this: the the audio cues are so good that everything else audio wise is messed up on my computer. So mm. when we're playing, I got to tell people, "Shh, stop, shh." 
just so I can hear because if I can't hear like the because the directional audio cues is amazing too, it's, especially it's amazing. if you got like headphones. There, yep. it's it's amazing. I'm talking about and even I can, without headphones, it's good on TV off yeah, the see, off the TV stereo. Yeah, because I'm sitting here and I can tell you, oh, he's on the left side of the building. I hear him running. I yep. hear him running on the right side of the building. Oh, they're above me. That's how crazy yeah. it is. Like, how do you hear above, above you? You ain't got help. <laughs> so yeah, but um, no, and it's clear and it's without question it, and. The audio, like whoever did the audio on that game, needs an award. Now I heard they, it. I heard it wasn't that good before when it first came out. I heard the audio was pretty bad. Uh, I didn't play it when I first when it first came out, like a month or two ago or whatever. Um, but I, as of playing it now, the audio cue is amazing. When people in your party be quiet. Be quiet. Don't, don't say nothing. Don't talk. Just let me hear where he's at. And it's be it's plenty of times I'm in a one like a one v three situation, and I'll tell whoever's on my team that's dead, yo, be quiet. Shh. And then I can hear. And then it, it's just so dope. Now, along with that, there got some bad things going on with it. Yeah, some very horrible. True. Okay, before we get into that, is this the best battle royale game you've ever played? Yes. I'm going to say yes, too. Um, I'll say yes only because it's simple in the places where it should be simple. Mm -hmm. And it's complex in the places it should be complex. Uh, of course. Um, certain things, I like I like the missions. The money, the money in the missions was a great addition. Yep. And the gulag, I'm sorry. Money, missions, gulag. Yep. Those were some of the best aspects of a of a um, a battle royale, I almost said every name of battle royales except battle royale <laughs> of a battle royale because the one negative I had for battle royales was the whole. All right, you got sniped from across the map. Load up a new match. Mm -hmm. Nah, with this, it's hey, your homeboys are still in. They may be able to bring you back. Yeah, and then not only may they bring you back. But you go to this prison to go duke it out one on one, which my one on one skills have gotten so much better. I'm the gulag. Thanks king. to the gulag. I'll He's make it there. King. But I'm getting out. He's like, oh, oh yeah, I'm going to gulag. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll be back. I'll be I'll back. Be Don't give me the 50 cal either. Don't give me the oh, deagle. God. You give me the deagle it's a, or the 357. It's a Rizap. <laughs> I suck with the Magnum. Man. It's actually, and that's another thing. I've tr I'm trying weapons that I would have never used. Mm -hmm. I'm like I found the love for the FAMAS. I love the FAMAS. I think that's the yeah. best damn thing on there. And he was like, FAMAS, "Oh yeah, I got the full auto trigger system. I'm gonna go." <laughs> I said, "What, bro, bro? <laughs> I love the FAMAS." Yeah. And then um, I like uh, what a uh, the lever action, um, the carbine, the carbine, the M2 carbine, yeah. And then the uh, what what is that pistol the uh, the starter pistol? I yeah, love that the damn X sixteen, the Glock Bro, sixteen. Bro, love yeah. that or damn Glock. gun. And then uh, what else? That that pump shotgun. Um, yeah, M nine. Bro, and then okay, so let me let me talk about one or two things I think absolutely need to be nerfed. Um, oh, yeah, they we, need to oh, add. We, no, you might as well talk about the good things because the bad things I'm gonna be on it for a minute. Okay, because so I'm going to <laughs> Yeah, cause... okay. Um, so I love the fact that, um, I one, I haven't got bored yet. And for mm -hmm. those who've been listening to the podcast for the years we've been doing this, um, I get bored quite easy. I jump games quick. Um, I don't know if it's you know what it is, even I'll play this game by myself. Yeah, and still have a good time. Me too. I thought it was only because I'm running with my cousins, I'm running with my brothers running with all my friends. No, I I legit will play this game over other games that I own. I you, own Baron Lord right now. You will Baron run Lord solo. is out and I own it. We would all run solo. We I'm pretty sure all yeah. of us have run solo. Not, not, I mean, oh, yeah. don't get me wrong. We all call each other. Hey, you get yeah, yeah. on? I'm getting on. Hey, I'm on. All right, give me 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. I'll be on. And we mm -hmm. all have that, that dialogue with each other because it's way better playing with people. Oh it's, hell yeah! It's way better playing with like a party, playing with friends or whatever. Um, but I'm enjoying it because of that. Not for that reason. I can play on PlayStation and play with y'all. 
Yep. You see what I'm saying? I've ran, I've ran with people on PC. On and people on PC. And I'm having mm-hmm. a blast doing it. I don't I, I there is no fear of super controller. Even though I've ran into some some hackers, I ain't gonna oh. front. But uh there's not there's not a time where I felt like, man, this is this is whack. I'm mad. Um like I've raged. This is probably the only game yeah. I've super raged at. The only battle royale, let me say that. Because Apex Legends is still kind of new to me. Fortnite is just not my thing. PUBG, this is PUBG I is enjoy- right underneath this. Or yeah. This PUBG is right underneath uh Warframe for or uh Warzone for me. Yeah, um, and I agree with you on that one because I enjoy like let me not shit. I'm not shitting on PUBG. Mm-hmm. I've spent a lot of time P- PUBG is in terms of hours would have to be like second to this. Yeah. I've put in a lot of time playing PUBG. Um, I like it. Only negative about PUBG on console is it always felt clear as day that it was a game built for PC. PC. Mm-hmm. That was always the negative. Like you can tell everything about the systems moving up. They they mainstreamed it very well, but you can still feel like this game was meant to be played with mouse and keyboard. Yes. Like it was built with that in mind and they ported it, which is what exactly what happened. But you can still feel that essence of PC. Mm-hmm. This game, I feel like people who are on con- on PC actually have a not a disadvantage, but it's native. Not it's not native to PC. Yeah. Um. That's that's the vibe I get from the way it's set up, the way it's laid out, the way it moves. I could be wrong. I don't play too many FPS uh, PC games. Yeah, you got if any at all. If you, but um, I've been watching a lot of. Uh, sorry to cut you off, but I've been watching no, no, a no. lot of um, like Call of Duty pros play, uh, because I'm heavy into the the CDL, which is the Call mm-hmm. of Duty League. Or the CWL, is it the CWA? I think yeah, the COD World League, the Call of Duty World yeah. League, mm-hmm. and um, a lot of these players are playing in these uh, these war zone uh, tournaments. So I'm watching a lot of them teaming up with PC players, teaming up with PlayStation players, and and the PlayStation COD pros. Now I don't care how good you are, I always think that M and K is more superior than than controller. But when I watch COD mouse pros and or mouse, mouse and keyboard, keyboard uh, players, when I watch COD pro players getting more kills, doing way better than mouse and keyboard players, it it's almost that, okay, now we're on a level playing field. So you can be that good. Some people aren't, you know, that technically sound when it comes to first person shooters. But sure. when you're sitting here, if me and you got to win, we just got to win yesterday. Yeah, we literally just pulled off a win. Played the most strategic land. war zone. <laughs> the most strategic way you can play. We sat up there and we got a win. I'm talking about using proximity grenade, proximity mines, claymores, all types of stuff. Recon, uh, recons, and uh, all type of stuff. So and so that's and that that's another thing too. I don't think I've gotten any wins in PUBG. No, I'm lying. We got. We I know we got one. Yeah. I got. I got the recording. Yeah. Uh, you put on your carry pants and took us to victory. Um. But I remember that actually the video's up on YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> check out. Check out and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's on there. It's probably like yep, the video. only PUBG video I got. Right. Yeah. I think it is the only PUBG video I got as well. Uh-huh. Um. But uh. And. My my get down with this is I've got four wins. Mm. Now, for me, a battle royale, first off, a shooter battle royale. I'm not – I talk like I'm not good at shooters. I'm decent. Yeah. I carry my own weight, and then I play on standard controllers on top of that. So I don't have extra buttons. I don't have mapping. Damn. I play default. Damn. Like, I don't – yeah, and I Damn. keep up. And I mm. keep up. Like, I don't play claw. Damn. I don't play – yeah, <laughs> I play standard. <laughs> I'm leaving my thumbstick as I'm jumping. Damn. Like, yeah, hey, <laughs> folks, nah. For those who are for those who play shooters, you know what I'm saying. Sounds rough as hell. And I have four call for uh thank you. Look, <laughs> look. And and I have four wins in Warzone. Mm-hmm. And I play standard as fuck. I couldn't I don't do have it. any I- 
And then oh, all my all my uh movements, my ups and downs and and uh horizontals, standard, mm-hmm. not adjusted at all. He no, played not, de- he he plays free. default default. Yeah, I don't go into the menus. He doesn't change nothing. He don't change to tactical. He don't change no. tactical flipped. He change. He says default default. I don't Me, even go and look at the button mapping. I just I, go and start the game. I change to tactical. <laughs> I play tactical, and I just bought this thing here, so I can use my scuff on my Xbox. <laughs> I'm not no. I can't use this. I cannot use this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing it, brother. <laughs> no, and let me let me tell you exactly why I don't want to do that. The only reason I never got into it is one, it's more money that I'd rather spend on more video games that I'm not gonna play. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, but then also I have a fear of getting stuck with a certain technology and not being able to bounce back. I'm gonna tell you what made me pull the gun on it though: the fact gotcha. that it's not going anywhere. The fact that Xbox made their own, PlayStation yeah, they made did their own store. attachment. Yeah. You know, when, you once, <laughs> once, once I found out there was a competition to scuff because I'm sorry, people that that controller I just showed you was a scuff controller. It was a scuff impact. Um, I, I think it's the greatest controller in the world. I haven't. Um, I've had both that and I've had the uh, the original 4PS one. Um, for me. I, once I found out that there were other companies out there competing with Scuff, I'm like, okay, I'm going to always have an option. Then when you find out that, actually, let me get this controller. Let me show you this one. This is a uh, collector's mind attachment for your Xbox controller, right? This thing right here, oh, it just broke. Don't get <laughs> it, just broke. <laughs> now this thing they make them for PlayStation and they also make them for Xbox. I don't know why that broke, but um oh I can fix it. Anyway, once they came out with those, that was a tether fail, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, if if we like that was a meme. Hey, stuff. listen, this is legit. We're over here. We really out real. here though. We out here. <laughs> hey, um, hey no, but but like real talk, I I just I, just, I have a weird thing. I want you I'm to a, ease your mind because they will not go anywhere. Xbox is dropping elites with you can use your elite on the new Xbox. Yes. They're yeah. not going anywhere. So even if you do decide to make that transition, it's you're gonna always be able to get another one. Hey, 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 no lie though. Real talk. I think I'm afraid of my own greatness. Bro, you 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 may be a god. <laughs> hey, <laughs> I just don't have the tools. <laughs> you hey, may, you may be setting yourself up. Right? You I'm set, pretty man, good, guys. I'm, I'm decent. I'm not. I'm not top tier. I mean, you guys see. You can come check me out on my streams on caffeine TV forward slash Marin J six seven. Check you guys out. can come and watch me. I'm not top tier at all, but I play pretty decent. And just like I remember when I first found out about TV quality, mm-hmm. my TV didn't have high hertz. Yeah, um, I didn't know about the refresh rate. I, I didn't. I didn't know all of that mattered. I just thought a cool looking HD TV was yeah. all you needed. Mm-hmm. And then I finally got a uh, 120 at the time. I think 120 was the top. Got 120 refresh rate. And what is it now? Like 186 or something? Some weird number. To yeah, some, some strange to yeah. something. Yeah, it's they're strange numbers. I gotta get me another monitor. I've been playing on this 60 hertz, but it's not a big it's not a big screen TV. Uh, I'm gotcha. playing on like a 24 inch or 21 inch. And yeah. I can't play on big big TVs. I can't yeah, I just can't not anymore. I can't anymore. I tried to play on my big the big the big TV in the living room. Yeah. See? I I was like, this is too much. It's too much. Like my eyes is moving, yeah. my head got up, yeah, my eyes moving. I was like, what? What's yeah, going no. on? I'm all getting shot by people and <laughs> clear on the screen. I was like, oh, never again. Can't do it. So for me, like even getting, like we're talking about Warzone here. Warzone, mm-hmm. being comfortable, uh, so far so good. We've been enjoying it. I know I have. Yes. I've been loving every aspect of it. But there's a lot of little things that irritate me. There's a lot. Like for the example. Tell me about it. Yeah. I can't jump up. 
a two foot rock. Like I'm a super soldier. I I'm a super soldier. I got infinite parachutes. <laughs> yeah, I can I jump off a two story building and survive. But you mean I could to hold a, a a thirty foot sniper rifle and a, a three hundred pound Joker? I can but carry I can't. infinite ammo. Yeah, <laughs> I can carry kill streaks on my back. <laughs> yeah, like and I can't jump up a two foot rock. Yeah, come on, man. That's that and is the most irritating thing about it. Can you imagine dying to the smoke because I can't jump up a two foot rock? Oh, bro, I've gotten killed in one match because we thought we had enough room on a wall. That was me and you. Around. Yeah, he yeah, had yeah, to yeah. run around and got clipped yeah. coming back and in. We got, yeah, we were screwed. Um, now, when it comes to the wall thing, well, first and foremost, it sucks that a lot of the problems with the in game mechanics cannot, in my opinion, I don't. I can't imagine them fixing it within a reasonable time frame because it would affect the game, Mm -hmm. the regular game modes, like range of equipment. Cause that's like for me bouncing to my, you know, throwing my two cents in the thing that gets me is the OPness of the overpoweredness of the thermal scopes and auto locks by missiles. Now what people don't, I don't think people have truly realized it yet. And I mean, maybe I'm put. I should do a video, and it's like this jaw dropping revelation. You can auto lock to somebody clear across the map. You can be on one end, and if somebody's in a helicopter, and you if you can see them on screen, you can auto lock with the uh, that that uh... with the with any of the auto locking rockets. Yeah. Um. So I use the Pila, and um, I will not even use any shots. I've forced at least three or four helicopters to get destroyed and I didn't have to do nothing but auto lock on them. Yeah. And I had no intention of shooting the rocket. Mm -hmm. Just Even though I could have shot the rocket and it still would have hit them. And this is actually why I don't like using the uh, flares anymore. This is another thing. So the flares, I feel like the moment it says rocket incoming or missile incoming, I should be able to hit the flare and automatic rocket goes down. Yeah. It It should be as simple as that it should not be any more than that shouldn't be any technical shouldn't be any timing involved the the game ain't this ain't battlefield this ain't that type of game like let's be real here but the i'm a i'm gonna say that the driving and the 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 planes it's actually pretty good yeah it's great it's amazing like it's actually really simple i had my look we had uh we had our little nephew driving and doing a good job Doing a really good job, and in yeah. most drive in most battle uh, or battle or battle royale games War, where there's yeah. driving, it's not driving as good. But terrible in comparing it to Battlefield, it's it's almost just like like the at least the planes and the driving is almost just like Battlefield in the, in that in that aspect of how it how they actually work and being able to jump from it, being able to jump from it onto a building. Yeah, okay, able, that aspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. I agree. With, with that, I agree. I think that there it should be even if they can't do that. If I can't, it shouldn't be I lock on and then instantly, you know, oh abort, jump out. Oh, but you ain't shooting nothing. That shouldn't it shouldn't work like that. I felt like there should be like a range where because if you if you don't have the 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 um the reaction time to pop flares or the reaction time to jump yeah. out, yeah, you should be punished for that. Uh, because that's what it's about. Just like if you get into a gunfight, even the gulag. Yeah. If you don't have the reaction yeah. time, if you do not have the the stick sense to jump in there and get the kill or to react, however accordingly you need to react to either survive or to to trade or to get the kill, then there's you know that's just game mechanics that you you haven't mastered in that moment. So for me, I think that rockets are. I think rockets for certain things are crazy. I shouldn't have to use two rockets on that big Bertha bus truck. That is so stupid. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, no, but check this out. Or I shouldn't have to use two rockets on a person. How is it that my one rocket can take down a helicopter, but my one rocket can't kill a person? Can't kill a person, yeah. It knocks shields. It cracks shields. That's it. It cracks shields. Yeah, I've literally knocked somebody almost to death, Mm -hmm. and they still got me because I couldn't swap fast enough after shooting my rocket 
directly in their face. You see? And it still wasn't enough. Like, there's certain things that I, you got to pick. Like, it, it's, it's, it's a stupid. Lot. It's a lot. It is a lot. And the, the walls. With walls. those things, those things I can live with. Right. If they yeah. say we can't, we, there's just no, there's just nothing we can do about them right now. All right, cool. Fix the two feet rocks. Yeah. Fix that. Just like yeah. Knock them down some. Make them heal. <laughs> do something. Yeah. I shouldn't be dying because I can't climb up this rock. I yeah. can't climb. I can't run. I can't do nothing with this rock. Get out of there. The two feet. Oh, bro. Rock thing yesterday. Me. Um, last night actually, I got uh spawned out of the gulag in the smoke. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah. No. Like legit spawn it. No, it wasn't me. It was Johnny. Uh-huh. So my my teammate in that match, he literally came out the gulag, and they dropped him dead in the smoke. In the smoke, yeah. Like and he was like, "Oh, I guess the game don't want me to play anymore." <laughs> I can't like, be great. <laughs> yeah, can, let me be great. Hey, but no, real talk. There's um, so the rockets, the vehicle. Okay, I think one thing they need to do with the vehicles. Either you need to let me be able to flatten the tires, or blow the block, yeah, it's, or give me a GTA gas tank. Like, and if I if I'm good enough to hit your gas tank, you should blow up. I, it should be you when you de- just like in PUBG, you should be able to flatten the tire, tire the tires, and just like how yeah. it says vehicle disabled, vehicle dis- well, yeah. I mean it shouldn't say that if you flatten the tires because you should be able to still drive it. Still but drive. I think it. Yeah. the health on specifically that big bus one oh seater two God, that you gotta hop bro. in the back, <laughs> bro. That, that thing needs, is a tank. You know what I'm saying? It's so many videos of people just driving around with that thing. Yeah, they'll get their loadout, get their guns, and they'll just start driving around because they can yep. take that. I watched the dude put like five clips in the back. He was in the back, and the dude was driving, and he's aimed at the dude's head inside yeah. the truck, and he's letting off, and he doesn't get yeah. the kill until five clips later. Yeah, that's bananas absolute, to me. It's absolutely ridiculous, um, and. I'm, and that's actually what spawned the new meta that I've noticed. It's funny how metas are like the new wave in a game. Uh, that's I don't know how else to describe meta, but that like that's whatever exactly that what it current is. The, wave, the, the popular is. thing to do in the game. So people went first. Vehicles weren't really being used like that. No, I remember everybody was using helicopters. You maybe would see a car or two, but just then people to get started to realizing a spot, though. just to get to a spot. But then people started realizing it was real easy to run people over and get kills. Yep. And I've watched, I've, I've seen just in the past couple of days, I've seen at least three matches where the last circle had three Berthas running around, just driving around, like just driving around, running into each other, playing bumper cars, killing anybody dumb enough to leave their vehicle, mm-hmm. like it. But what that led into is rockets. I've been killed by so many rockets now. Rockets were one of those things that were never used. Yep. Oh, it's an RPG. Nobody were nobody was using them. But now all my loadouts that I use in Warzone have a Pila attached. Uh-huh. When I jump out, when I get a loadout drop, when we call one in or when one's called in and we get it, all my guns that I'm using, it's either my assault rifle, snap uh sniper rifle, but either or, and it's going to be attached with a Pila. Yeah. I have a rocket launcher because you just, you you don't want to get caught lacking without one. Yeah. Yeah, see, I, I, it's, I'm not going to continue to beat that down because they that's something that either they can do or they can't do, but it, it's a huge problem in the game. It's a huge it problem is. in the meta, as you say. Another issue yeah. that I have is the cheaters. And the fact that this oh. game dropped with no anti-cheating system in it. I heard a, 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 a call it, well, he was a Call of Duty pro. Now he's an owner of, a, of his own org. He explained, and he actually made me go and check out their Twitter. And they actually said that, that they don't have, they, 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 they have a team to manly review cheating accounts. Wow. Do you know how unreliable that is? That is un because first off, you're banking on somebody. First off, I'm not taking the time to report. I don't care. I don't even to know report. how that's to me. report people. That, okay, that's one. That's one. Um, then you're dealing with humans. 
so now it takes so there's probably like 30 guys and I'm that's probably a high number. Yo, he it's probably well, not that many people. He he said five. Oh, there's only five believe, guys. I heard, I believe him. I oh, believe. God. I was saying them. thirty. I'm thinking thirty is a low number, Man, but five and, does sound because who's gonna you, invest that much money? Yeah. But when you boast about you have, uh, oh my bad. When you boast about how you have three million some three hundred million active users on your game, uh, when you boast about that, I'm assuming you got money. I'm not. Yeah. I'm not assuming yeah. that you can't afford this. You can't. I, you're, and you're not a small. I, you're not a small company. You're not a small company. Come on, yeah. man. This is when act- small companies have better dif- uh, better systems in place than yeah. Activity. So everybody comparing to Valorant, which is the new. Uh, I forget. Like Overwatch style. Yeah, I forget the the the, the developer. I'm sorry, but they they're Riot, dropping. Riot. Yeah, right. They're dropping with an anti cheating system in it like most games should have most yeah, online games like especially when there's anything that's popular man i done died in the worst ridiculous ways it's just crazy and then just to watch people do it i'm more i can't even be mad at the cheating the cheaters i mean i'm mad at them but i i'm not as mad as them i was as i'm mad at activision because people go experiment people gonna do things people want to be relevant we just talked about people that. only do what you allow them to. Exactly. So if you have some type of system in place that says, "Hey, all right, cool, um, we could detect this." I, when you when a when a dude levels up from level one to nineteen in a match, forty nine kills. That uh, should tell you something's wrong. Thirty of them there, kills is headshots. Look, nobody's iron good. sight. I don't care. M14, unless, you're crazy. Get out of here. Unless this dude got a freaking monster. Uh, partnership tattooed on his forehead. You are no even so, bro. He's doing this in you. I'm gonna send you the video. He was doing this in squads, playing solo. In wow. one, in one, forty nine wow. kills by himself. You should have seen the kills he was doing. He was shooting people, dropping them, and letting and then letting them self revive <laughs> to drop them again. <laughs> Bro, oh wait, wait, wait! I get it. He's all throwing the gun in the air, and it's all shooting. <laughs> man, hey, it was some he's all crap. flying across the map like so calm. Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, there were some it's crack Superman. out plays, man. Out oh, man. <laughs> Shut up. Hey, 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 no, but real talk though, like. I've been in some moments because once again, I don't like being that guy. Mm-hmm. Like I never, I never liked being that guy to complain about a gaming experience. Um, like hardcore to the point, I'm not playing anymore. Too many cheaters. Like I've, I've, I've seen some people rage quit like that. And I'm oh, like, yeah. bro, just relax. Uh-huh. Uh, <laughs> like, just relax. yeah, like just come on, on doc. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, man. Come on. But, uh, but no, when you, and then, First off, this is and this is actually going into a conversation that we probably will have to have another day. Mm-hmm. And we kind of touched on it before. Uh, we, I've always felt that cross platform is a great idea on paper, and it sounds wonderful mm-hmm. until you actually get it. Now, cross platform between P- uh, Nintendo, PlayStation, and Xbox, that's great. Yeah, because I've said this in my other podcast, and I'll say it again, and I'll say it till God comes back. Consoles' sole purpose were are plug and play. Mm-hmm. Plug and play. It's supposed to be some type of level ground. For the most part, hey, core mechanics. Everybody's got the same thing. Now, when you introduce PC, you're dealing with people who have unlimited frames. Yeah, you're dealing with people who have. Um, you got mods, you have aim bots, you got, you know, you're introducing a whole new realm. Now, of course, a game company can put things in place like a hard frame rate uh, cap. Uh, you can, there's so many things they can do yeah. to ensure that everybody is quote unquote level. But I already know my Xbox, my out the box Xbox with my out the box controller with my 144 refresh rate TV, I'm not. I'm not gonna. You don't stand a chance. Well, against somebody with a hell, I'll even say a, a 800 dollars rig, 
will shit on my Xbox. Yeah, you know what? That that's a good conversation to have because I think it varies uh, by game. Obviously, very some, true. Some games. There's a lot of variables. Yeah, and th- that with within that conversation. One thing I do, one thing I, I can say is that the developer is the developer. Like you're going yeah. to develop the game based off of you know what the what you see as the goal, right? Yeah. So when you when you take a project, sh- sh- scratch that. If you if we live in 2020 and there's anti cheating software is being dropped with itty bitty companies, I mean. Epic got Small, one. Small, tiny, yeah. Um, tiny just, company. Epic ain't even big. Like when you can, when they have this, when this, when they have the resources to do it, I don't care who you are, Activision, EA, any one of these super big companies, you have the resources. Just put it in the game. It yeah. shouldn't have dropped without a anti cheating software in there. There's no <laughs> way in that should have happened. So that's on PC, that's on PlayStation, that's on Xbox, Nintendo. I don't care where it was at. That right there is just because you can cheat anywhere. You can sure. exploit anywhere. So as for the conversation about you know the different systems, that's, that's going to always be there. There's no way, unless you sell me a PlayStation that's a computer where I can swap out the parts, Yeah. then I'm never going to feel like I can compete with PC. I'm never yep. going to feel that way. If you give me the option to use these on my PlayStation, I mean Xbox did it. The Xbox is actually yeah. they're making the trend the the, tra- the the switch. But if you give me the option to use this on my PlayStation, then yeah, I can and, I can understand yeah. it. You know, because now okay, we're getting somewhere. But until then, you're you're one hundred percent right. These consoles was literally you plug this here, plug that there, connect the controller, bomb, 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 you're good to go. That's it. Yep. So, well, so that's that's it. We hit the marker, guys. Um, and I really appreciate you guys, especially if you've made it this far, man. Thank you so much. Um, and for those who are skimming through and you still skim to this part, much love. I really yeah. appreciate it. Um, we're truly grateful, man, because you guys make it all worthwhile. Um, and much love to Tone Deaf Network and the family. Um, you, you know, without you guys, we would. It, it's it's such a, it's such a trip seeing how much uh how much tone deaf has not only grown but how much they've helped us grow and how much and content they have they have yeah, bro, so much stuff on there we're a gaming podcast but they have so much other stuff on there yeah they it, it's literally tone deaf network is just that it's a network and it has something for everyone mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. It, literally and you guys make sure to go check that out and the link will be below Please. Um, and make sure to subscribe and check out all of our channels. Uh, we both stream on caffeine. Uh, you can find us at caffeine.tv forward slash XT Jones and um, caffeine.tv forward slash Baron J67. We're all on lockdown, folks. So, social I mean, like distancing. me, I'm on lockdown. Yeah, social distancing. So, it, you can social distance yourself by watching us stream. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm. I mean, that's it. Yeah, that's it, man. Don't let FOMO get you down, man. Yeah, you guys. Man. Don't let FOMO get you down. And sorry about that. That's my PlayStation sound. It's connected to my desktop audio. And oh, it's all messed bro, up. my dog is snoring, and he's probably all over the track. Shit, like, so it's all good. <laughs> he is out. But yeah, yeah much love, y'all. Peace. Peace.